that he's bricking it. Who? Gary Windass. He was up there working on the roof. Next thing, bam. That can't be his fault, can it? He won't be the first builder to do a shoddy job. <clears throat> it's just so sad. I just can't get my head around it. What the police say? Uh, it's carnage in there. It's going to take them ages to sort out. Have you got any idea what happened? No, but they're going to interview everyone and I gave them your number. Look at the bright side, you know. You get to go home, no more sleeping on my floor. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I'll uh, pick our stuff up when I get a minute. OK. I'm going to see Carla. I'll catch you later. Stop looking so guilty. You haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, I know. I'm just... It's not very good in situations like that. Out official. Darling, you'll be fine. What if Carla tries to pin it on me? No, why would she do it? No. I should have pushed harder. I should have made her do the whole roof straight away. It's not your responsibility. You told Carla about the roof. You made it clear. This is on Carla, not you. Right pair, aren't we? Boy, I hate to see you fretting. I fear that the bolt fire might have caused more harm than we thought to the factory. Look, don't please blame yourself. That the fire damage was totally superficial. Well, it wouldn't be the first time you'd lied to protect me. You've done nothing wrong, Roy. Trust me. Listen, I... And just know, I know this doesn't change anything, OK? I'm not following you. I'm still going to look for another place to live. Uh, don't concern yourself with all that. You must stay as long as you wish. A little better after that shower. Yeah, so it can be quite invigorating, though I fear the cubicle needs regrouting. All right, well, I'd better get back downstairs. Um, if you do see Kate, will you give her my condolences? Yeah, of course. Um, I'm just not sure what I'm going to see, and I don't know the truth. Hey, Roy, uh, can I just have yeah, a Yeah, yeah, please, go away, go away. It was so urgent. No, neither did she. Hey, look. We're in a heap of trouble. And I'm no expert, but you know what this means, don't you? It's manslaughter. And someone's gonna have to pay. Come here, let me fluff your pillows up. Mm. There you go. Do you want anything? You hungry? I saw a lovely newly typed salad thing in the cafe. Mm. I could get used to this, you two at my back and call. Well, you won't get any complaints from me, love. This whole thing's been a total nightmare, so... For a moment, I thought we'd lost you. Yeah, same goes. You're my world, you are, Sally. That's what I'd do without you. Do you like the Terminator? No matter what happens, you just keep bouncing back. <laughs> yeah. You definitely give Arnie a run for his money. Mm. I think I got off lightly, didn't I? Broken collarbone and a couple of broken ribs. It's nothing in the grand scheme of things. Gina not been in? No. But I'd be glad about that if I were you. She might try and finish off what she started. Don't put all the blame on her. I've always been just as stupid as she was. So who did start it, Sal? Who wound you up? Tim. Let's not peck my mum's head, eh? Just be grateful that she's here and she got out alive. Who else are you? Oh, Gary, obviously. Nick? I can only assume that Gary told Sarah. So none of the other builders got wind of it? No, Gary made sure they were kept out of it. So no one's denying that you knew there was a problem with the roof, but you couldn't have predicted that it would fall down? Well, no, but... Right, well, OK, then I blame Gary. 
It's not his fault, OK? He tried to tell me to get it sorted. I, I, it was my choice to not do anything about it. He's supposed to be a professional builder. If he knew it was that unsafe, he had a duty to make that clear. And he tried. Well, he tried. Not hard enough, obviously. OK, look, Peter, I appreciate what you're doing, all right? But this has got nothing to do with you. I'm going to go to the police and I'm going to tell the truth. Just hang on, right? It's not just about you, you know? Nick will be implicated. Think about this. What about Kate? Kate? What's the so-called truth going to do to her? Peter, her fiancé is dead because of me. She deserves to know the truth. Really? You think so, because she's already lost Rana? She couldn't cope with losing you as well. Carla, sweetheart, you never set out to hurt anybody, OK? Why should you be punished? Just please, just don't go to the police yet. One way or another, I'm going to sort this. OK? Drink or anything. No, I'm fine, thanks. Still not sinking. I know. I'm the same. All right, it's no wonder you're both in shock. I've been thinking, I, um... I wanted to ask you something. said you was amazing. You stopped him and all the boys from getting fried. I did. Funny that, cos I normally love anything fried. <laughs> How's that? Yeah, she's surprisingly perky. She's still shaking, though, so you're gonna have to sit still under the ice. What are you on about? I'm always nice. What are you dream? You've got to go black as sewer. Hey, uh, I meant to ask, have you heard anything about Rana? I'm really sorry to have to tell you this, but she, she didn't make it. She died yesterday. Okay. Listen, I know this is going to sound a bit, but let's not tell Sally, eh? Why not? She's going to find out sooner or later. Yeah, but she was up on that roof, wasn't she? Right. And I hope you're not blaming my mum. Well, she wasn't to know what was going to happen, and a, a proper solid roof should be able to take someone's weight. Yeah, yeah, I'm not arguing that. I'm not blaming her, but knowing Sally, she'll sure as hell blame herself. Let's just not tell her, eh? We'll always remember you, Rana. Sweet dreams. It doesn't get any easier, does it? I can't do this. I can't do it. No, not now. Imran, please. Where have they taken Rana? I need to know. You couldn't care less when she was alive. Why are you pretending to care now that she's dead? Whatever you think of me, I'm still her mother. You disowned her. Hey, Ron, I loved her so much. No, no, no. No, you loved her when she told the line. When she did as she was told. When she played the dutiful daughter. And the minute she goes off on her own, you bit her off. Right, Rana, we hate us fighting. We all need to sit down together. Talk. There's nothing to talk about. Save your tears. It's too little, too late. I'm going to see Carla. No, not today, you know. 
She's, uh, she's in no fit state. OK, look, I know she's had a fair share of troubles, Gary. I really do, but this is... This is flawed. Man. Look, I told her that roof needed fixing. She better not try and pin this on me. OK, I see. You look after number one, why not? Well, I bet she's doing exactly the same. I thought she was holding her hands up. Like I said, she's in no fit state, honestly. She's devastated. It's less than a year since she lost her brother. Oh, come on, don't throw that at me. And all I'm saying is this... This doesn't have to be a big deal, does it? So let's say... You never told her the whole roof needed replacing. You just carried out the work, done to fix the fire damage, and... That's it. I am not gonna lie to save her. When they ask me, I'll tell them the truth. Why? Just hang on. Hold our nerve. We just stick to the same story, right? Then nobody has to come for this. Nobody. <laughs> Honestly, we're like one of them mad old black and white movies. Buster Keaton. <laughs> yeah, him, maybe with the eyeliner. Mm, that bit when the house falls down and he stood where the wind is supposed to be. Not a scratch on him. A few centimetres either way and I would have been a goner. Honestly, I feel like a new woman. Joie de vie, that's what that is. Come again? Full of the joy of life. It's French. Exactly. I feel like, I don't know, like I've been given this second chance. Like a, a fresh start. So does Jesus want you for a zombie? Mm -hmm. We are so lucky, Abby. It's amazing. Nobody got seriously hurt. These look well thumbed. Please tell me you didn't nick them from another patient. Sally Metcalf, I am deeply offended. I took those out of the bin in A&E. Right, I'm off to the shop. Do you want help? Oh, do you know I could murder a fruity lollipop or some boiled sweets? The air in here is so dry. Timothy. I'll come with you. Well, Tim, do us a favour. Mm -hmm. Stick them in a bin, will you? They're probably heaving with germs. I didn't know whether to come or not. I didn't want to intrude. I've already told you, you're very welcome. I'm so sorry for your loss. I know what it's like to lose a child. I understand you were with her when she took her last breath. Was she in pain? The paramedics were there. They'd given her something. Did she say anything? We said our vows. I know you still don't approve of me. But we're in the same boat now, you and me. We both love Bran and we both lost her. Please don't. Don't compare the love I have for her, her mother's love, with what you had. Come on, come on now. You don't have to be enemies. I haven't got the strength to be anyone's enemy. She was so pleased when you gave her that bracelet. You meant the world to her. <laughs> Imran said you would come round to the idea of us getting married. You just needed a little time. We even talked about postponing the wedding. I wish you had postponed and then none of this would have happened. I'm sorry. I think I should go. Listen, man. Nobody's gonna blame you. Nobody. Are you kidding? People are already gossiping about me. And the police are sniffing around. Well, so what? They can't prove whether you knew about the roof or not. And let's face it, half that roof is on the floor. No, I don't care what you say. I am not gonna lie. No, you're forgetting that Rana died because of this. And all we're bothered about is covering our own backs. All right, all right, don't. I'm just trying to protect Carla, that's all. You know what I'm saying. You do the same for Sarah, so don't... Why don't we just keep this nice and simple? We blame it on Pat Phelan. <laughs> he was the last one to carry out any major work up there. He replaced the entire roof. So let's say you never told Carla about the roof. She never ignored your advice. OK, 
okay? Never happened. We can't. Why not? That's a simple solution, isn't it? We just point the finger at Pat Phelan. It's not like he can defend himself, is it? Forget it. Totally gutted about what's happened. I don't know where to put myself. This puts everything into perspective. I thought the worst thing I had to worry about was my job. Yeah, I know. Now look at me. No job, no money, no idea what's going to happen with the factory. Well, at least we're still here to fight another day. I mean, what could cause her to just fall like that? I mean, Sally's not even hefty, is she? Someone will have hell to pay for this, you mark my words. I don't want to stick my nebbing or anything. Would you think you'd be wrong of me to ask Mrs Connor what's going to happen with the factory? I think it would be uh, somewhat odious. Odious? As in, like, a bad smell? As in, distasteful. Uh, and it could seem self-serving. I'm very sorry about what's happened. But you can't blame me for needing to know. I've still got rent to pay, bills and what have you. Rana lost her life. Carla's devastated by all accounts. I don't know if she's going to have the art to open that factory ever again. Sal. Sally. What are you doing here? How are you feeling? Do you remember what happened? Of course I do. I've not lost my mind. We were being an idiot as per. Charming. Your near-death experience hasn't made you any nicer then. So good to see you, Sal. When I saw you lying there, I thought it was good night, Vienna. Yeah, we well, should know by now. You don't get rid of me that easily. <sighs> Anyway, calling me an idiot, you weren't so flipping clever yourself. You were on standing on that roof when it gave way. Yeah, and whose fault was that? Yours! Didn't drag you up there by your hair. Oh, I can't believe you walked away without a scratch. Talk about luck of the devil. I know. Someone up there must love me, eh? <laughs> ah, shocking. Underworld's pretty much destroyed. Thank God everyone got out alive. It's a miracle. Has no-one told you about Rana? Rana? She's dead. What? No, what was she even doing in the underworld? I told you to stay away. What have you said to her? Tim, why didn't you tell me about Rana? <sighs> Gary's refusing to play ball. What did you ask him to do? I just asked him to keep his trap shut. He's not going to do that, is he? He's getting into loads of trouble. Besides, he owes me nothing. If we get on top of this, you could both swerve the blame. I told him we should point the finger at Pat Freeman. <gasps> look, his name's going to come up anyway. And it's not like we're wrecking his reputation, is it? Peter, look, thank you for trying, but it's too late anyway. The police want to interview me. <sighs> Look, it's time to fess up, OK? It's time to take what's coming. But hang, just hang on. Look, that makes no sense. You being banged up, love, it's, that's not going to bring Rana back. No, but it will bring justice for Kate and Rana's family. But what good would it do them, really? If you keep quiet, you're protecting your family from a truth that will break their hearts. Just do the decent thing. Take on the burden, carry the hurt, keep it away from Kate and Imran. It's, it's, it's not going to happen anyway, isn't it? He's not going to lie for me. You've already said that. Every man has his price. There we are. Thank you. Is there anything else I can get you? You don't recognise me, do you? There's no reason why you should. Our paths first crossed over 18 years ago. Well, surely you, you would have been a child then. You and Haley were very kind to me. I've never forgotten you. Is it Wayne? I can't believe you, you're here. So, so what, what's brought you back to this neck of the woods? Look, you're wasting your time. I've said what I'm going to say. I haven't. Don't want any trouble. I know your business is on its knees. 
Come on, is that the best you've got? Throwing insults at me? Not at all, Gary. I'm trying to help. Yeah, right. You keep your trap shut about telling Carla the factory roof needs to be replaced, and I'll give you record. ten grand in cash. Say yes, all your money worries go away. If I say yes, if, how soon can you pay me? Very soon. Well, when? Today, tomorrow, next year? Look, Gary, hang on. Do I look like a bloke who walks around with ten grand in his pocket? So when? You know, it's a big deal that you're asking me to lie to the police. When I sell the boat? Well, that could be months or... No, no, it won't. I've got a bloke who's got his eye on it. One phone call to him. Fine, Bob's your uncle. So are we cool with all that? Are we cool about what? I'll be in touch. Gary, is he trying to blame you? No, no. No, he's trying to bribe me. Are you joking? Nope. He's offered me ten grand to cover for Carla. What are you talking about? Peter, you better go before I call the police. This place oh. looks the same. So do you come to that? I, well, I was born middle-aged, so my mother used to say. I've often thought of you over the years and wonder what you were up to. I'm going to be working in the area, so I thought I'd take a chance, call in. For, forgive me for not recognising you. I should have known you straight away. You were very dear to Haley and me. It was a revelation staying with you. I, I felt we got it wrong and we let you down. No. You gave me hope. When I lived here, I, I had this glimpse of another life. You were kind, hard-working, decent. And you made me see that I could make a life for myself too. So, where is she, my temporary mum? Can't wait to see her. I can't stop thinking about Rana. Her poor family. Still don't get why he didn't tell me. Because I'm worried about you, love. I don't want to get you stressed out. Tim! Sorry, I know that sounds a bit harsh, but you're my priority now, love. I just need to get you home where I can take care of you. What were me and Gina doing, messing about on that roof? Well, that's typical Gina, isn't it? Causing trouble wherever she goes. No, I was just as bad. You need to get some sleep now, love. You're not done in. Stop thinking about that moment when the roof came down. I mean, what if it's my fault? Well, you need to get that thought out of your head. The roof should be strong and rock solid. Well, I know, but it can't help, can it? Two women running around on it. Come on, Sally, stop worrying, eh? Get some sleep now. Let me in. Hope that's okay. Yeah, of course. Sorry if I woke you. No, oh, that's be a fine thing. I'm not stuck to wink. Same here. It's okay. She's still in shock. Well, we all are. She's missing her sister. I thought I'd come over later, you know, once I've done my interview. Michelle's with her now. Didn't want to leave her alone. You've been to the factory today. I can't face it. Heartbreaking. See it destroyed like that. After all the hard work you and Aidan put in. Do you want a cup of tea? Uh, uh, no, thanks. Just wanted to see you. Make sure you're okay. I'm fine. Well, good luck with your interview today. Hope that something comes to light that makes sense of all this. And uh, I'll tell Kate you'll definitely see you later, yeah? Yeah, definitely. Thank God for family. I don't know what any of us would do without it, eh?
I am so sorry. If I'd have known, I would have come sooner. She was so lovely. A real one-off. <laughs> she was indeed. How did you cope? I hope you had good people around you, supporting you. Well, our friends, Fizz and Tyrone, they were very supportive. I and Carla. Yes. Hayley and Carla were very close. She was a great comfort to me. Still is. You don't mean in a romantic way? No. No. No, it, no, it's, no, it's, it's, that's, that's as if we're, we're, we're a different species. <laughs> yeah. Though, uh, I have come to rely on her somewhat. And she on me. She, she, she's living with me now. It sounds like a good, solid friendship. Yes, it is. Though it has become somewhat strained of late. I'm sorry to hear that. My world would be a much sadder place if Carla Connor wasn't part of it. I don't want to impose, but can I ask you something? Go on. They say if it's inconvenient, but I was wondering if I could see the flat again. I shouldn't have asked. It's just, I have such fond memories of the place, and we had such happy times together. I'm sorry to say, but happiness has been in short supply lately. I told you, I'm not up to see him. What are you doing, hiding away in here when we should be attending to Rana? This is urgent. You haven't even told me which hospital she's at. Weatherfield General. Well, we need to start planning the funeral. There's a lot to do before tomorrow. She's having a Western funeral, so there's no rush. She's having a Muslim burial. You are such a hypocrite. Imran. You're only doing this because that's what's expected of you. What's that supposed to mean? Why would you celebrate her life now? You hated who she was. Your Rana's family, you've got to try and find a way through this. We need to wash her body and talk to the Imam. But you are still trying to inflict your beliefs on her. I'm telling you now, there is no way she is having an Islamic funeral. And I hate lying to Johnny. You know, it's like I'm pretending to be somebody that I'm not. He thinks we're all on the same side here. Just stop, and I don't mean to sound harsh here, but you really need to get a grip of yourself. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm falling apart. You know, being responsible for somebody else's death can kind of do that to you. do I have to say? It's not your fault, right? You're not responsible. I should never have come back to this street. Well, your family and friends, right? They would, and me, would beg to differ on that. I've already let Aiden down. Now I've ruined Kate's life. I'm just like I'm a kiss of death. Carla, just listen to me, OK? If you can keep your head here, I promise you, everything is going to be fine. How? Oh, actually, I don't want to know that. What are you even doing here, Peter? Sorry, I... I... No, I mean, you were running well, away. I love you. You were off to start your shining new life. I mean, if I were you, I'd get going well, now. Well, you can forget it, because I'll tell you this, I'm not going anywhere. Well, you told me. You said... If you stayed with me, it'd kill you. <sighs> yeah, all right, well, so I exaggerate. No, don't make light of it, Peter. You told me I was as dangerous to you as alcohol. I was deluding myself that I thought I could ever live without you. OK? I'm staying because it's what I want. You're what I want. You, you must be mad. You must be mad I would get going now before it hits the fan. Look, listen to me. We can contain this, right? I'm gonna sell the boat. I'm gonna bomb Gary ten grand to keep his gob shut. I know he knocked me back, but I've had a word with Nick and he's gonna put the pressure on him. Peter, that is bribery! That's bribery. If, if that came out, you'd all be banged up. Listen to me. Just... This is the only way. Trust me. Look. Look. Come here. I love you, OK? I love you. And I love that you care so much about me. You'd stick out your neck at this point. I am not letting you get in trouble for me, all right? Don't worry about me. Come in. Oh, uh, sorry. I thought you were still in bed. It's all right, right? It's your flat. Yeah. I I'd like you to meet an old friend of mine, Wayne. 
the, the, the way this is Carla. Hey. And uh, this is Carla's. Uh, this is Peter. Hey. Uh, Haley and I uh, looked after Wayne for a short while many months ago. So tell me, is, is this how you remember it? I'm glad I caught you. Yeah, I bet you are. Just going to the station to give my statement. All right, word of advice. Take Peter's offer. You have got to be joking. You're telling him to take a bribe. I see Peter's got you doing his dirt work for him now. Look, we told him no, I'll tell you exactly the same. Why should he incriminate himself to save her skin? He's telling the truth. <laughs> Do you realise when you're protecting him, you're dropping me in it? No, no. I'm not at all. He's been dealing with Carla. It's got nothing to do with you. Uh, Carla's my business partner, so if she goes down, so do I. Anyway, she's not the only one to have made a mistake. And what do you mean by that? Okay, you should have told me that the roof was so dangerous, so urgent, you know? You should have made me understand. No, you were sorting out the barber, so I told Carla, because she's the one that asked me about okay, it. Okay, the judges aren't going to see it like that, are they? They're going to see three people who knew and did nothing about it. There's nothing that Gary could have done about it. Yeah, I'm just a builder. I don't make the decisions. I'm just a builder. I don't make the decisions. What? Come on, your reputation shot. Right. <laughs> uh, look, we just need to stick together, OK? And we'll get through this. The truth will come out sooner or later. Right. Well, we control it, OK? Why don't you just go to your interview? Keep it light and polite. Bane ignorance and take ten grand for your trouble. It's bribery. If they find out, you could go to prison. I'm sorry, Nick, the answer is no. You feeling better now you've had a little rest? Sophie just wanted a quick word. Is that all right? Hi. Uh, I didn't want to intrude. I just, I just wanted to give you this. It's really kind of you. You know, I've been thinking about you. We all have. How's your mum? Yeah, she's got uh, a few broken bones, but she'll be fine. Someone said she was up on the roof. Yeah, having an argument with Gina. On the roof? They was putting a banner up there or something. Uh, right. I better go and see him, man. Yeah, give him my love. I will. See ya. Bye, Bye. Sophie. Oh, I've no idea how Kay's going to get through the next few days. I wish Sarah wouldn't blame her. It's not going to help. I know, like Kate hasn't got enough to cope with. Well, I've got room to talk. I was the same when Aiden died. Poor old Eva caught for the lot. So did you. Well, it's... it's what do you call it? Displacement. Hating someone is easier than coping with all that grief. But Sarah's not stupid. I mean, she might not like it, but she knows Kate and Rana thought the world of each other. Well, I hope they can get over the differences. Give Rana the send-off she deserves. You still here? Come on, love, you know you're going to have to discuss the funeral. You know full well there are things that need to be done as soon as her body's released. We've done nothing. We have been over this. She wouldn't want anything traditional. I disagree. When she died, she was on her way to a non-religious gay wedding. A wedding you refused to attend. Hello? Hey, it's me. OK, hi. Um, sorry, we're just a bit tied up with something. Hi, Kate. Come up. I'd rather not see her, if you don't mind. Of course. Come up. She could have come back later. If you don't want to see her, leave. I'm warning you. If you start on her, I will throw you out myself. Are you OK? There she is. <laughs> the love of Rana's life. The person who knew my sister better than anyone. Thank you, Mr. Windus. We'll be in touch.
Don't worry, you're in the clear. That's Peter keeping a low profile, is he? Trying to avoid payday. I actually told him not to come. Don't worry, you'll get your money. Carla Connor. Hello, I'm Wayne Hayes, Health and Safety Inspector. We all want the best for her. Celebrate her life. I'm her mom. I should decide, and I'm saying I want her to have a Muslim funeral. It's not your decision. She would have been married by now. Kate would have been her next of kin. Yes, well, she didn't marry, did she? So that counts for nothing. I'm sure you didn't mean that. They were very much in love. This is the last thing I can do for my daughter. The last time I can show her I love her. You are doing this for yourself. To save face in the community. You're wrong. I truly believe she would have wanted a traditional funeral. This is for her, not me. Kate, come on, you can't be okay with this. Say something. Kate! Imran, you can't force her. Just... I think your mum's right. No, 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 no. Do not let her Look, bully you. Rana wasn't devout, but she did believe. And when she was going through a tough time, she turned to her face. That, that, that means nothing. Rana would have wanted a traditional service. I honestly, truly believe it's the right thing to do. So, to be clear, you're here as a witness. I understand you were having some work done on the roof by a local builder, Gary Windass. Gary, yeah, that's right. Do you have a specification for the work he was carrying out? But he was just doing some small repairs on the front of the building. He had no reason to, to look at the rest. So he was repairing the damage caused by the fire? Yeah. And you had no cause for concern about the condition of the rest of the roof? Well, no. I mean, it's not that long since I've had the whole thing replaced, you know. Patrick Phelan did it. I'd like to ask you about the business. We heard that staff were about to be made redundant, is that correct? <laughs> Some of them, maybe. Possibly. Why is that? Underworld in trouble? No, not exactly. I just... I don't know, I suppose I was wanting to make things work. Why? What are you implying? Oh, we're just trying to get to the facts, Mrs Connor. Rana Habib lost her life. Others were injured. I'm sure I don't have to tell you how serious this is. You've been ages. So what did you tell him? I'll take it you lied then. Did what Nick and Peter asked me to. Oh, my God. I can't believe you'd be so stupid. You know that if they found out the truth, you'd finish. Well, they won't, because we're the only ones that know. Do you realise how sick this is? Everyone's too busy trying to save their own skin. No thought I'm doing this to protect Nick. You know, I took a serious risk today for Nick, for you. For you and your family, so you should be thanking me, not having a go at me. No, I'm sorry. I, I am. I'm grateful. I'm scared. It'll be fine. You're not going to take that money from Peter, though, are you? Well, why not? We need it. Yes, I know. I know what you're saying, but... It... It just, it feels wrong taking advantage of this terrible situation. It would, the money would feel tainted. Well, you know what, I've stuck my neck out today, so I feel like I've earned it. Well, apart from anything else, I think it'd be too risky. It's a bribe. It'd all be in cash, no one would ever know. Promise me you'll say no. Peter, they knew I was lying. Just stop, OK? Just stop being paranoid. Of course they didn't. What if that health and safety bloke, Wayne, heard us arguing before about bribing Gary? Look, they've got absolutely nothing on you, OK? All we need to do here is just we keep our cool and we wait for all this just to blow over. <sighs> oh, my nerves are shut. Oh, over the next couple of days, you just take it easy and just keep your head down. Oh, easier said than done, Peter. I'm going to hit the road tonight. What? No, you can't leave me. Don't look. The sooner I sell the boat, the sooner Gary gets that ten grand in his grubby hands, OK? Well, I'm coming with you. Look, hang on. I'm, I'm not sure that's a great idea, OK? They've not buried Rani yet, and I'm just saying it might just look a bit like you're running away. Peter, I'm serious. I can't do this on my own. OK, all right, OK. Well, at least... 
At least go and see Kate before you go. I'm not gonna look at her in the eye. It's not too late to tell the truth. I'm worried this is gonna come back to bite you. It's gonna be fine as long as we hold it together, okay? Who's that? Health and safety. Mom, I just want to go home. Every time I look at that factory, I think about what I'm going to Hello, Sarah. Hi. Um, how's Sally? Yeah, she's all right. She's counting her blessings. She was lucky, wasn't she? So have you had help? As in? As in why the roof collapsed? Not yet, no. But you've been up there a fair few times. Meaning what? Meaning have you seen anything or any damage or whatever? I think you were just working on the front bit, weren't you? Well, there's talk of it being down to feeling. No way. Apparently, he was the last one to work up there, so. Roy, what were you thinking bringing a health and safety inspector round here for a snoop? I I'm sorry, I haven't a clue as to what you're talking about. Your mate Wayne is investigating the factory. I had no idea. Well, there you go, then. See what he's done? He's pulled the wool over all our eyes, hasn't he? I'm sure he wouldn't have an ulterior motive for coming into my home. It's probably just the coincidence. Yes, and it doesn't matter now anyway, does it? I mean, it's not like we've got anything to hide. Carla, I've told you, there's no need to pack your things. You must stay here as long as you wish. We're going away for a few days, OK? So the car's fixed and we're ready to go. Well, I, I don't think that is a good idea. Carla has responsibilities here. Her family and the investigation. We're not fleeing the country, Roy. And I've cleared this with the police, OK? So you don't need to worry about it, Chief. Yeah. Just need a few days, Roy. I just... I feel like I'm drowning. You must do what you feel fit. And I hope it helps. You know where I am if you need me. Hard to believe. Today was supposed to be the start of our new life together. Married. Happy. I oh, know. It's not fair. And instead, I'm hoping to plan a funeral. I don't know how I'm going to get through tomorrow. We'll all be there to support you. Where's Carla? Uh, she said she'd come round. As soon as she's done her interview. Once we get back, all this will be done and dusted. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Drama continues when Coronation Street's back Wednesday at 7.30 and 8.30. Tomorrow at 7, Gareth Southgate's men march to Euro 2020 continues as England's next qualifying match is against Montenegro. Tonight, a half-sister arrives at the Palace and the monarchy is under threat at home and abroad. The brand new series of Victoria starts next on ITV. Mm -hmm.